HarperCollins imposed a 26 loan per ebook limit, and Penguin temporarily halted lending of all its ebooks. But in Kansas, state librarian Joanne Butler struck a deal to ensure ownership, rather than licensing, of ebooks that the state consortium buys. Libraries sprang up in many camps of the Occupy movement, most notably the People's Library in New York City. It held more than 5,500 volumes, but more than 3,000 were destroyed when police cleared Zuccotti Park November 15th. Libraries suffered major losses from natural disasters last year, including the Japanese tsunami in March, earthquakes in New Zealand and Virginia, and Hurricane Irene on the East Coast. In these areas, libraries also served as centers for community relief. Libraries took the call to transform to heart, installing 3D printers and building hacker spaces, while Chicago's U Media Lab inspired similar teen areas. In December, ALA started the Library Boing Boing Interest Group to share ideas. Does digitization infringe on copyright? The Authors Guild sued Hottie Trust and several universities on the basis of that claim, while authors are also seeking a class action suit against the Google Books project. Libraries found creative ways to advocate for themselves, with Zombie Crawl in Oakland, kids and parents holding read-ins, and 200 people holding hands to hug the New York Public Library. School libraries were hit by cuts nationwide. In California, the number of certified teacher librarians dropped to just 895, while Los Angeles Unified School District interrogated dozens of library staff for a chance to be reassigned to a classroom. The public pushed back against privatization of libraries in at least two states, and a new California law requires proponents of privatization to make their case with hard numbers. But Santa Clarita, California, and Osceola County, Florida still both signed contracts with LSSI to take over operation of their systems. Librarians are currently fighting the Stop Online Piracy Act, which would require internet service providers to police user activities for potential copyright infringement. The Office for Intellectual Freedom hosted a conference on privacy and youth to discuss how best to raise awareness. The Digital Public Library of America began a two-year project in October to bring the full U.S. cultural and scientific record online, while the Europeana Foundation launched a plan to aggregate the continent's cultural heritage.